going to use our PyCharm to create a Python application. Here, PyCharm is the IDE we're going to use. I know that you being here means you already know how to install PyCharm. If you don't know, just go to our favorite Google and search for PyCharm. When you search for PyCharm, you will have a first link, which will be exactly like this. Click on that, or you can definitely click on this, download it, it will take you here. When you get here, we have professional and we have community. We are using community for now because as you can see, it's open source and it is enough to do what we are going to do. Once the installation is done, this is where you will be when you run your PyCharm application, your first window that is going to welcome you. It is this window. So this it's our PyCharm and we are going to continue on creating our project today. When you click on a new project from file or new project from the front end of your PyCharm, this is what you will have. So click here and select your destination where your project is going to be. And according to this, my project here is going to be on my desktop because I have created a document folder on my desktop and in that document folder I'm going to use this workshops so which is here and on my desktop I have projects and workshop click OK so this is where it's going to be that is what I want my project to be so desktop projects and workshop exactly desktop project and workshop here once it's done I'm going to give this project a name. Now, if you don't use this, if you don't use this backslash here, your Python projects, all the files is going to be loosed inside workshop. It's going to be loosed inside this folder, but I want that folder to be a different folder from the word workshop of its own. So I'm going to create a different name by using backslash and that name itself so I'm going to use L Tara now L Tara is going to be the shop okay no need to give this L Tara is going to be the shop at the same time the project now when I click on this I want you to notice that by the time the project is done you will see that to be generating all the files for us now here you can see Eltara it's created here this has created a, a, a different project from the workshop folder for me so if I need to send any of these to anybody or I need to double click on anything I'm going to use this Eltara the whole folder here is where my Python project folder uh, files and folders will be for creating e-commerce in Python we will need few libraries those libraries and other framework is what we're going to use and this we are using the Django framework so I have generates all the frameworks material that we will need for this particular project here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this one into this folder and it will make our savings it will save us a lot of time though I'll be talking about few things so I'm going to save this into a folder and I'll drag and drop this one into our folder and into our project so now once it's already in it will save us a lot of time but let me talk about how you can install this if you don't have or you don't you haven't compiled them all together what you will do is there are different ways you can install them one being using terminal we call something pip when you create a terminal you can use a pip which is management in a package management installation command you can use this one for example 
once you type pip you type install and any plugin or library you know for example you're using the Django so you can type the Django once you enter the Django will install 100% this is our first example where you can install your packages using pip it will install it nicely and once it's done you can continue using your work there is another way we can install using settings go to file when you go to file you select if you're on mac that will be under appearance but if you're on windows you go to file select settings and under appearance you go to the project here is my project so you set for this name now you can see that all the packages you might have installed will be here and as you can see we don't have all the packages that we need for this folder we don't have all of them you see it's a lot it's a lot but we can add them one by one so for example if we know that we need this you go to this and you select on the plus button on top above your package and you type in the particular package name you're looking for for example appdirs appdirs this is what i'm looking for so you click on install package here takes a little bit of time but eventually you will get it done successfully it's finished and our second version of installing now our app dirs is here click ok our third version of installation our third way you will be able to install is as i mentioned before compile all your applications library you will need and put it as text dot text file just make it as requirements and put it inside your application the project you're creating if you do that it will appear on your left side as you can see my mouse is there appear here and when it does it will tell you the requirements that you need to install and that's why you see on top here do you see that all the requirements that i need to install it's here so at this point we have installed two out of that one if you install any older version and you use this method here you will be able to install or override that one no problem so click on this one and all of them are here if you go through you will see that those tools that we already installed are not here because it's done there is no need of duplicating them here and click on that one and wait for it there is another thing i want to inform you for example if you want to create or install a specific version of a specific library what you do is what you do is that you do when you're installing this you make it you you put on the name of it for example the Django and you give enter uh, sorry you give double equal sign and if it is 4.0.1 if this is what you want then yes that is what you're going to we use the equal double equal sign to specify a specific version we want now at this point you can see on my right side down bottom here that packages installed successfully i want to confirm that therefore i have to go back to file settings interpreter under my project name and now you can see that we have a lot more than I showed you before this is all that we need which is successfully installed and on top here you can see that my project is using 3.9 if everything is fine with me by me I'll just click on ok 
looking at the version I have already installed and looking at the latest version, I am sure that we already have what we need. The only thing is if you look at this arrow here, it's telling us that we can upgrade it. But at this time, it's not necessary. So let's keep on and continue our project here. Click on OK.